Naomi could have stayed on her side and not joined this battle. But now she's one of our most potent tips of the spears. And she's a vicious <laughs> than to put a man or a woman in a prison block, that they have lost all their freedoms, they have a life sentence. I can think of one more. How about shove a pill down their throat? How about jab a needle in their arm? Or make them beg, make them beg to keep their job, or otherwise take this needle. Think about that. That's the greatest loss of a fundamental right is losing your personal autonomy. The title of the book is The Bodies of Others. Individuals are now making decisions about the bodies of others and importantly, our most vulnerable, our children, our disabled, our people who can't make decisions for themselves. We're tiny, but we're telling the truth. All of you who are battling feel overwhelmed. I know you do, Reggie. You know, probably you do, Frank. Probably you do, Leslie. We all feel overwhelmed. But, you know, here we are together. And there were not many more of us in 1775. And that's really the point of the bodies of others. They kept us apart so we wouldn't feel the power and the inexplicable magic and multiplication effect of human beings in concert helping each other in person. So may we bring that back.